in Fort Worth, Texas. We're feeding the homeless. Uh, this is the small line that we got for home. So we were left over with a lot of clothing. So we decided to instead to get rid of the clothing, to give it away, right, Dad? Yep, let's do it. And that's what we're gonna do really, really quick. So we're gonna come up here. Then we'll go around this car. We'll drop them right there in the corner, and then we'll go around the other corner, okay? All right, there's my son. I gave him that trailer. I have a couple of, I have some trailers, right? And this truck, I wasn't, that trailer I wasn't using much, so I told him, hey, come pick it up, and it's yours. And he honestly came and picked it up. And I was, it's not like I was joking with him. I wasn't joking with him. I was, I was serious with the guy, right? And I was telling my son, I said, son, if you need a truck, I mean a trailer, come and get it. So I'll be honest with you, my son uh, made a little over, Oh, I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say he made about $15,000 using the mini dumpster in the last six months, right? Profit, profit, right? Um, four months, about four months, maybe, maybe four to six months he made that much money. And he had been saving at his previous job and working for me on the weekends uh, doing other stuff. My, my son's really tight, so he went and bought him a nice truck, paid cash for it. It was awesome. And he was always pulling the mini dumpster. No matter what, anywhere he went, he was pulling the mini dumpster to do jobs. He was renting it out and then putting stuff in the back of his truck and then making money. So he made really slow money, but he was always working as a firefighter and making really good money as a firefighter. About maybe $3,000 to $4,000 a month being a firefighter part time. And with that, um, I just wanna say that now we uh, are at a place where he needed a bigger truck and a bigger trailer. So he went over to my headquarters yesterday and picked up a trailer that I gave, told him, hey man, here's a trailer, come and get it. And there it is. Let me go see what's going on. Holy shit, it's cold. Junk guys, DFW you guys. Uh, just entered this house here in the Frisco area. I got time lapse everywhere. Let me show you. Whew. It is cold, 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 cold today. Uh, I have a camera right here doing a time lapse GoPro 11 right here, the mini one. And then I have a camera in the garage also. But let me get to that right now. Boom, there it is. So it's a little high, but we'll put it right here capture all the goods. That one's doing a time lapse. Uh, the one in the other room's doing a time lapse. Did they leave me any antifreeze? Yes, they did. Boy, I need that bad for my truck. I am in charge of cleaning out this whole garage right here. Everything in the garage has to go. There it is. There's everything right there. All right, now, we also have the other rooms really fast. I'll show you those before I get started on anything. There it is, guys. We got this trash. There it is. And then this, this room over here. Woo! Let me open the, the blinds really fast. Oh, let the light, let there be light. There it oh, is. Dude, we'll be oh, done so fast. Look at this. I'll finish this restroom too. There's some goods that I see that I need. You know what I mean? I'm gonna need some stuff over here. Ooh, essential wipes. Oh, Dude, this is gonna be easy. All right, I'm gonna head out, guys. Uh, watch the time lapse and enjoy the video because I'm gonna knock this BIT out. See you guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed the time lapse that we did. Found these glasses in the jungle, by the way. 
uh, wiped them off with some alcohol <laughs> that I found in the Junker Bowl. We're over here in the Frisco McKinney area. Just finished the house clean out, check it out. Uh, that was a pretty messy room, but then of course you have the kitchen, What's which up? is really, really, and that's the living room. It's all cleaned out. Okay. And you go into one of the bedrooms. All gone, finished day. And then this was a filthy bathroom, pretty bad. Oh, let there be light. Everything's gone out of here. Everything. Not so shabby, not so bad. Even the restroom, which was dirty. Now it's clean. All right, all right. All right. Alright, over here. Let's go see trucks. I think one of the biggest parts of this house was the garage also, which it's totally cleaned out. The bunk beds got broken down. They were in there. That whole room's empty. It's kind of dark in there. That's the hallway. Uh, the two bedrooms got cleaned out. No reason to show you that. But here it is. There's the garage, which was the worst room in the house. Now, this is a 14-foot trailer. It is my son's trailer that I gave him uh, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, I gave him this trailer yesterday and he's using it today on Friday. Uh, today's Friday and he's got his Dodge 3500 Larimer, 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 whatever it is. There it is. Now those are wounds from the haunted house and this is all wounds from the haunted house. When I actually got this trailer, um, it was all white and it wasn't damaged, but this is from the haunted house. Our employees was beating the shit out of the haunted, uh, that's trailer. Dumbass person doesn't he realize that it's a truck truck like you shouldn't be beating the hell out of it anyway so what do we do we filled it all up it's totally totally maxed out and there's trash in the back of his truck also so we managed to put a little back here we got a uh, junk in here like it filled it up with trash and two dressers uh, oh some two by fours that's really it there's a lot of room here still there's some room in between the gas and stuff but that didn't get all the way full up so what do we charge for this job? A 14 foot trailer. We charge $1,000 for the complete clean out here in the Frisco area. It was a now. I'm kind of impressed because uh, everything's gone. We left the paint and some wood trim in case the owners wanted to do that. I never take the wood trim out of a house just because uh, the owners might need it. But other than that, it is all gone. Oh, what's this? Uh, dude, we left this. Let me take this. Oops. We left the dog stuff. Some dog crap. You ready to go, Maddie? Yeah. All right, Maddie was here with me today, kind of helped me out. Didn't have to contract anybody or anything like that. So we're out of here. He's closing the garage door, going down, and then we're heading out of the house. That's it, guys. Uh, we're going to the landfill. We're going to empty it out. Got to do a little paint job on it, but man, it's a good trailer, man. Brand new tires, by the way. Brand new tires. They're kind of low because we didn't air them out yesterday. Air them up yesterday. And he didn't air them up. But he did. Let me get my phones and stuff and we're out of here, guys. Hey, I gotta get my phones, bro. Alright, another junk removal completely done here in Frisco, Texas, guys. I will talk to you. McKinney or Frisco, whatever. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye, guys. Are you ready to elevate your junk removal business to new heights? Look no further. The 2024 Junk Removal Summit in March is coming to Dallas, Texas, and you won't want to miss this golden opportunity to learn, to connect, and grow. There's going to be so many event highlights, inspiring guest speakers, networking extravaganza, in-depth workshops, a business boosting tips. You're going to show off your brand. It's going to be an unforgettable experience. I'm calling out all current and future junk removal time to join us at the 2024 junk removal summit in dallas texas here in march next year and open registration will be coming up soon so check out the videos for that link underneath there i will see you there